this code sample and this code sample, both of them do the same. The only difference is that over here we concatenate strings using the plus operator. Here we use a string buffer. A part of this small difference, the two code samples do exactly the same. Now, here we have uh, a loop of 20 thousand iterations every 1000 iteration we just print out to the screen so we know that we move forward and over here uh, we print out uh, the time it took to perform the code that I currently mark with uh, blue the same happens over here we print out to the screen the time in milliseconds that it took to perform this entire code segment. So let's first try running this code, bad code. So run as, run as Java application and we can check the console to see the progress and eventually we should get printed to the screen the difference between the value current time is second um, returns and the value stored in number which is actually the current time milliseconds that was calculated before the loop uh, started as you can see as we proceed, uh, it becomes slower. After all, uh, indirectly we actually deal with a very big uh, string. After all, if you check the code, then you can see that 20,000 iterations multiplied by 1,000, it means that uh, typo, 20,000 iteration multiplied by the number of elements uh, strings include which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 it is in total 180,000 iterations this is uh, the number uh, of times this specific statement is executed so we get a string, a very long string that's why the execution becomes very very slow uh, after all if you examine this code you can see that we actually get uh, lots of new objects instantiated in every iteration and as we already calculated this statement alone is executed 180,000 times um, actually if you go over this code, this code statement um, the compiler indirectly translates it into this code so you can see that every execution for of this statement is actually involved with uh, creating a new object of the type string buffer and then a new object of the type uh, string just to assign str with a new reference for a new uh, string object so lots of objects are created uh, in this uh, specific code sample let's be a bit patient if you go over the good code sample here we basically have the same uh, this code is executed just as in bad code it is executed 180,000 times just that we don't create lots of objects we use a string buffer object which is uh, an object that represents a string, a string we can modify and here we call the append function to modify it. Uh, the append function when you invoke it on a string buffer object it returns the reference for the very same as a string buffer object so that you can invoke it again and again. So actually we don't have lots of new objects created during the iteration. Now as you can see, running bad code gave us a 
execution time total of bit of patient Two hundred forty-two thousand two hundred eighty-nine milliseconds. Now let's execute uh, good code and see how long does it take to execute. Basically the same code, just that instead of concatenating strings with each other, we use a string buffer. So let's execute it, the good code. Well, as you can see, it took 54 milliseconds, much faster. Thanks for using a string buffer instead of concatenating strings.